Bach's days were extremely full and it is very hard for us to understand how he found time to compose as much as he actually did. We know very little about Bach's family life, but uh, we know, for example, that, uh, you know, there was a lot of traffic all the time. You know, Bach's life, in a way, must have been quite messy uh, because it involved family life, it involved dealing with students at the uh, St. Thomas School in Leipzig, where he lived in the school, and, uh, uh, you know, there were funerals, there were uh, weddings, there were uh, Sunday services, there were rehearsals, there were private students, um, well-paying private students. Uh, he had a very large family, but his friends and family friends and colleagues were traveling uh, through Leipzig and they were always showing up at the house. So Bach was a gregarious person and apparently, uh, you know, very outreaching uh, to uh, his um, uh, friends and colleagues and uh, you know, then, of course, there was the composing schedule. And, uh, you know, the day, uh, you know, had 24 hours, and we really do not know how Bach uh, organized his time, how uh, disciplined he must have been in order to achieve everything that he left us. You know, a work such as the St. Matthew Passion was composed within a few weeks. Uh, if, uh, you know, asked uh, a composer today uh, to fulfill a commission for, say, an opera of, uh, uh, you know, two hours, uh, the composer will, you know, ask for a leave of absence for at least three years uh, to uh, compose such a piece. And Bach did not have that kind of time and leisure. So he did it in a very short time and uh, at a rate uh, that is quite unbelievable. But there must have been an urge to uh, compose uh, and he found the time and he apparently had the discipline. What is so fascinating about Johann Sebastian Bach, the composer, is the fact that, you know, he is discovering so many things throughout his compositional career. He is always on a path towards uh, new things, new ideas, and things that he was interested in. Nobody told him, for example, to uh, compose the Goldberg Variations or the Art of the Fugue. Uh, these were not works that were assigned to him as part of his uh, um, uh, service. No, he wanted to do this, and uh, you know the fact that they are still today uh, uh, considered unsurpassed masterpieces that he wanted to explore and whether it was the well-tempered clavier or uh, sonatas and partitas for violin solo he always had an agenda on the side and it makes him today still one of the most fascinating composers of all time. Mm -hmm.